Hello. Yeah, I've written some software to allow me to control OBS with this MIDI device, this MIDI controller. Before, I was using some software that uh, converted the MIDI inputs into like a into a keyboard input on the uh, computer, and then you'd set up macros within uh, OBS to operate it. It kind of like, it was okay, sort of, but a bit clunky and didn't work very well with um, the knobs and stuff. So I spent a bit of a while writing a Python program to replace it. You can find this program on GitHub, uh, on my GitHub. I'll put a link and everything in the description. And for Windows users, there's a, uh, an executable in the releases section this is basically i'm trying to make life easy for people who probably don't want to be faffing about installing python uh, and stuff like that because uh, i know there's quite a large non-technical audience would be interested in this sort of thing right so i've copied it into my uh onto my d drive into an obsws directory um for want of anywhere else to put it it still needs to it should really be in its own place um, but before you do any of that, uh, you need to do a couple of things. You need to make sure your MIDI device is plugged in and uh, connected up. Um, why is that not lit up? On this particular model, you need to press layer B. This is because layer A, you MIDI. The MIDI identity numbers are the same for the twiddly knob and the pressing of the button on there on here. I need to go into uh, OBS. We need to have OBS up and running. You need to go to Tools, WebSocket Server Settings, uh, and if it's not enabled, enable it. Uh, you click a Generate Password, um, and then we show the connection information. Uh, we click copy and close that uh, and we can close that as well as we like uh, so I've already got all my scenes and everything all set up already uh, I've got my sources and everything I've kind of set up how OBS how I want it already uh, this is because my software pulls the settings from OBS which is why OBS needs to be running first well if you don't do any of that it just says OBS isn't running or your MIDI keyboards not plugged in or cannot access web sockets and things like that it gives you a, hopefully a helpful error so back onto our D drive yeah when you first run this it only happens first time uh, it comes with this message to scare you off uh, you click more info and you click run anyway. Uh, a DOS box comes up because I've not worked out how to get rid of that yet. Uh, and you click that uh, and control V uh, in the password and then you test the connection and it says it's okay and it gives you some version information. Uh, you also need to set this MIDI device. Uh, MIDI out can be not set but this one has uh, LEDs and stuff that can light up. So we click MIDI Touch 1 uh, and we save and close that. And you can see that we've come through to our OBS setup screen. So here we need to allocate our buttons. So to do this, uh, we need to go, we need to pick a few things. So I'm going to do uh, that one for record, studio mode, um, loop or for whatever reason. So we've got our in the middle column here. We've got our scenes. So main camera. Can we go on that one? Camera one, that one. Camera two, that one. And then we've got sources. So sources. These are mo mo these are mainly audio. These, this will be for toggling sound, sort of mute and unmute. Uh, so, I've got that one on, on desktop. Uh, I can't remember which way around these are, so 
that one and that one. We've also got a subscribe button so uh, that can go on MC so that'll play a video and then for twiddly knobs we just go on there, select the one we want again twiddly knob uh, twiddly knob uh, twiddly knob we can also use this slider but let's put desktop audio on the slider there we go and then that's it for the setup that's all saved everything in the little database so you don't once you've done it you've done it um, so you can see in LBS Studio it's got the volume controls so you can see down here HD 60s video should change no did I put it on the wrong one put it on the wrong one so we can go back into setup press delete delete that one and go on that one and twiddly knob on that one save and close so back again and we go to it and you can see HD60S audio is is changing even though it's not using it but for this purposes. So I can now change to a different scene. You can see there that the button lights up when you change scenes. Um, like so. Um, toggle toggles the recording obviously uh, so recording's now started the lights come on switch that off, stopping recording, it does its thing um, loop studio mode, I don't exactly know what studio mode does but I'm sure it's very good toggle that and got our subscribe button I think, yes here we go there's our subscribe button um, the subscribe button, the actual video, the subscribe button video will only show on the scenes that you've set it up on. Uh, so it's set up differently on this one as you can see. Uh, but on the main camera, on this one there's no subscribe button so pressing subscribe does nothing. So you can go into camera 2 sound. Uh, and you can see that the sound adjusts and also I've set it up so the lights give you a reasonable indication as to what the volume is so halfway is halfway on the thing on the setting there uh, it's just not picking up my audio at the moment so it's not making the audio lines it's in a dif different place out of the way I think that's it so like I said links are in description uh, if you find a bug or something, uh, be grateful if you could put it in the issues section on my on the GitHub, um, or if you see something I've missed. But well, hopefully, somebody will find this useful. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.